God and Bennett, that was some firework. Look, there must have been some mistake, Flower. Well, look, just so you don't come at us with a bleeding A-bomb next time, we're getting out of here. Arch is off to Devon, and I'm leaving the country. Heading for Thailand, actually. Very posh. Coffee idiots. question is, did you turn up to rescue Maria or to get me back? Well, I got news for you. Shooting you will be a pleasure, but dating you was only business. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. Throw over the cash. You have been a busy boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Kill the idiot! Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark-haired woman. Oh, you know, we're gonna have such fun, because, you, know, you know, I love you. I, I, I really do, because you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I mean. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, I forget, but you know what it's like, don't you? The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged between ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Yeah, we got a good view from down here in the gardens. When the copter finally got taken out, better than the fireworks on the 4th of July. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. There have been no official denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. Can you believe it? This one cost me 50 now? What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. 
I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Cause there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? Ten hut! <laughs> Vic! I swear to God, I thought you were gonna salute me! Toss the gun! Fuck you! Vic, still so uptight. You know what your problem is? You're trying to be the good guy in a bad man's game! Huh? I thought you had potential. Turns out you're just another chump, like Mendez. Me cago en tu madre. Oh yes, sir. Que hay de nuevo? Mete a la mierda. You first. This shit's over. Thanks for everything, Martinez. You are great help. Lance, it's done! Playtime is over, bitches! Lance fans is about to 
cops get brutal on you, and when Lance fans get brutal on a lady, somebody starts to Lance, cry. Lance, will you shut up? It's over. What? Oh, but well, we did it, baby. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, listen. Now that things are straight with Diaz, we should get out of town or lay low for a little while, you know? Yeah, you're right, man. Look, I'm gonna send some money to Pete. Cool, but bro, I don't want you thinking it's just about you. That it's all about you. Hey, hey, I don't, I don't. It's about you, me, Pete, Mom, wherever the hell she but is. But wait, I've been making moves. I got a hold of 20 keys, Are man. you crazy? Get rid of it. No, all we gotta do is sit on it. It's hidden out of sight. Out of town, man. We lay low and then sell it. No, no, no. I am not interested. Got it? Okay, man. Whatever you say. That's right. Come on. Let's pop. Torini, it figures. Give him up. The mayor is mine. This city is mine. Salvatore. Sicily never wanted Christos key for the Chita. But when tribute to Drayla, what could we do? It was nothing personal. Nothing personal? After what you put me through, I'm gonna tear your fucking heart out. Hey, Mr. Mayor, we just saved you from a bunch of crazy Sicilians. Yeah, thanks. And that means... Uh, the, uh, city is, uh, grateful to you? Ow! Try again. That you work for me, right? Oh, yeah, uh, that I work for you. Good. Now, don't call us, we'll call you. Get out of here, prick. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Tony, we did it. We run things now, you and me. We're a team, huh? Now, I just need you to do one small thing for me. I got some problems that I've been dealing with. <laughs> hey, Uncle. How you doing, huh? You look good. Ah. Salvatore. All we really wanted was clarity. Yes, Uncle, I appreciate that. So, we are at peace now, you and the old country. Of course, me and all my people. Good, very good. Sneaky little bastard. I wouldn't trust him a fucking inch. Every dog has his day. Yeah, but we did it. Yeah, we cleaned up. <laughs> you did good, Tony. You did real good. I always knew you was a good kid. You saved my ass a few times, and I appreciate that kind of loyalty. Thank you. A good worker? I like that. Respectful. So I got you that half million I promised you. Half? Ooh, I thought you, uh, said a couple. <laughs> I said one million dollars. For what? You can put a price on friendship? The kind of friendship you and me have? Shame on you. Come here. You're a good kid. <laughs> but shame on you.
Look, I know you down for this, but I gotta go in there alone. What? Smoke played me. Tenpenny played me. They played us all. Yeah, but you're right. I was a buster when my family needed me the most. Hey, I let Brian die, man. This one for him. For moms. And for you, bro. For Grove Street, baby. Yeah, for the Grove, baby. Hey, if you need me, you know I'll be. For sure. You always been there for me, man. Hey, Smoke, what made you flip out like that, man? Was it the drugs or what? I got caught up in the money. <coughs> the power. I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck, man. <coughs> Why you just didn't quit, man? Uh -oh. We was like family, homie. I had no choice. I had to do it. I just see the opportunity. <coughs> oh, when I'm gone, everyone gonna remember my name. Big Smoke. Oh. <coughs> Carl Johnson, my man, I need you to do me another favor. You kill Pulaski, now this fat fuck? <laughs> There's no stopping you. Drop the gun. You ain't leaving here alive, man. Where's your brother at, huh? Why you just didn't shoot me in the back? Feeling exposed, huh? Shut your dumb ass up and load the bag. Come on, let's go. I ain't got time to fuck with you. So what it's like, Tenpenny, huh? All alone, nobody got your back. Suck, huh? Why you think I'm alone? I got a couple of rookies outside, but I gotta open their eyes slowly, you know. Little truth here, little truth there. All right, fuck it, that's enough. Chuck it over. I got a fire truck to catch. You crazy, man. Lost. You gone. Half the city's looking for cops to kill, Carl. And I ain't about to get dragged out of a patrol car and get beat to death by some angry mob. No, no, not tonight. What you catching? A plane? Ding, 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 ding! Good answer, Carl! You know, you're gonna thank me one day for opening your fucking eyes. Oh, I almost forgot, Carl. Time to die. Uh, sweet! What? Mother... It ain't over, Carl. It ain't over. Sure, it's over, man. That's all. It's cool. Don't need to put a bullet in him. He killed himself in a traffic accident. No one to blame. Let's roll. I mean, far out, man. You know, I mean, you beat the system. I tried for 30 years to cross over, but you managed it, man. I mean, man, you're an icon, man. Oh, uh, thanks, man. I'm just glad it's finally over. What's up with smoke? You know what's up with smoke. 
He always saw things a little different than us. Smoke? Smoke was always on his own, always out for self. That is the surest path to hell, man. Well, without our 15 microdots and an ounce of mescaline... Let's go get something to eat. Sounds good to me. See you around, officer. Hey, now that everything is cool, we gotta stay on top of our game. Keep everything in check, but subtle. We got problems in Venturas, problems in San Fierro, shit's never ending. For sure. I mean, the family's back on their feet. But we gotta keep shit tight. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of people has got their eyes on us. Whoa, 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 I come in peace with Mr. Dog here, who has an announcement. My, I mean, our first gold record! Yeah! 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 Joke on. Anyway, what's next? We should hit the casinos, roll some dice with Woozy. Nah, we gotta take care of shit here first. We going on tour, fam! Has anyone got a tissue? My nose is <laughs> yeah. It won't stop running. Is that, anybody? Yeah, I have. Over there. Uh, I'll pass. Carl, where are you off to now? Finna hit the block. See what's happening. Welcome to America. You too much. How am I rolling? Speak English. <coughs> You're a strange man. You killed your best friend. You betrayed everyone who ever came in contact with you. You killed my cousin. I guess. The survival of the fittest thing really meant a lot to you. Come on, Nick, come on. Get out of here. Let's go. Come on. Guaguan. Come on. Let's go. Roman never hurt anyone. I know. I know. Let's go, man. It's over. You know what? I told you to leave me alone. I got the orders here. Me. You're not looking so good there, Jimmy. Screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. The commission? The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke! <laughs> Yeah. You did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. 
Now we can start making money. Freely. I suppose so. We won, man. We won! Nice place you got here, Johnny. Not quite sure I meet the dress code, but I think I like the smoking policy. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a friend? Are we friends? I think so. You've certainly seen me naked. You want a cigar? Do you want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. <sighs> but listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about him. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do, stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. Thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he calls you, You'll do 15 years, and he'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. And there's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, you call me when you get there. I might have something to help you with it. Good. I'll need it. Hey, one more thing, Stubbs. Why are you doing this? I told you, I was good for a favor. Johnny. Hey. Hey. We had fun here. <laughs> yeah, we did. But it's over. Yeah, it is. How the fuck did that happen? You know how it happens. It's that fucked up part of people, which means good is never good enough. I mean, it wasn't enough we had to be drug dealers. We also had to be outlaws, to be maniacs, to be psychos, and to be greedy. You know. Well, that combination of Greed and fucked up stupidity, that works well. In the government, not so good if you're a fucking crook. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Go ahead. Let's put this place out of its misery. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Come on, man, let's get out of here. Sorry, Pops. Oh, come on, get up. Get up. Oh. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself, okay? Stay away from idiots like me. Fuck you.
You always have to make a scene, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's a real problem with me, you know? I wish I was more like you. Subtle, shy, retiring. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. I used to play around here when I was a kid. Dreaming of the world. Wondering what it was like at that place over there or that little island over there. You ever go that thing? Nah, I went to Algonquin instead. Waiting for the world to come to me. You did it, man. You did it. You, you saved my life. You, you saved the business. You, you fucking did it. Hey, man, I did what I could, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. But I don't want you to get a big head. I don't want you to go uh, change, become a megastar, go to Vinewood, write a blog. Oh. <laughs> You're a pill-popping old queen, man. I'm a murdering maniac. But we survived, bro. We survived. We did more than survive, amigo. We prospered. We took on this town and we won. We took on this place and we gave it the fucking finger. Fuck you all! I don't care what people say. Tony Prince and Luis Lopez could not be stopped. Huh? Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up, my niggas? Oh, did you just say that? Uh, yeah, hey, man. You fucking made it. Man, that was some serious gangster shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot him up. I said, shoot, shoot, shoot him up. <laughs> Yo, T, T, give me a hug, give me a hug. Not too close, though. I don't want to give my father the wrong impression. Ah, oh, Luis, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, too. I love everyone. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, I think my father may be into franchising clubs. <laughs> I know, franchise is not the way to go. The, the club is all about the people. Fuck the people! Fuck them all! Whip out your dick and piss all over them! <laughs> You're gonna go a long way in hospitality, my friend. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no. Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin.
Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? Oh, peachy. I know what this is about. You do? Of course. It's Michael. You're the peacemaker. Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking did it! Good job, Franklin. I know it. Fuck, oh, kid. your best fucking friend! Fuck you. Oh. Woo. Oh. You know what, tough guy? It's... It's time you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. 
That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. Hey, it's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Bye. Damn straight. Don't come close. I don't want you to, to see my face. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, got a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! This 
got an end right here, man. Why you going up there? Who put you up to this? Trevor? You're an idiot! We should take him out together! Right now! We'll roll on T! I brought you into my home, Franklin! <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Oh, we'll see about that, fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh -huh. Every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking A right! I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that! It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did! You! Two-bit gangster gone three-bit. Now you're gonna... Gap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. My, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know, I'm sorry. You hypocrite. I should have clipped you when you broke into my house. Man, I'm sorry. It's like you said, I understand. You don't understand nothing! I'm all you got! Hey, Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Uh, maybe we can hang out or something. And I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace.